Hey, what's going on family? Today we're going to show you how to make some delicious crock pot chicken legs. Now this is a good recipe because you can get it in there, go run some errands and come back and your meal will be ready for you. So uh, stick around, let's go ahead and get into this thing. It's gonna be good. All right guys, so here we have our chicken. I have, this is about three pounds of chicken which equates to about 12, uh, 12 chicken legs. I've already washed them. Uh, trim the little fat or whatever off of them and now we're just going to go ahead on and season them up first things first I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil in this is just to act as a binder and to help distribute our seasoning through our chicken we're going to go really liberally with our uh, black pepper our granulated garlic and our onion but you can kind of season them to taste if you bake your chicken or whatnot and you have a particular wild way or style of seasoning your chicken you can follow that same baseline as well but again, I'm just using garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. We're gonna be using some um, complete seasoning or the, the, the knockoff version of complete. We're gonna be using a little bit of adobo and we're gonna be using some browning. Now this is the Saison Perfecto, which is just like complete. I get this at uh, Save-A-Lot. It's a little, costs a little less than complete, but it has the exact same flavor. And again, this is our adobo with sazon. This stuff is really, really good. I don't know if you've ever tried it. If not, maybe look for it when you're in your local grocery store, but it has a really nice flavor to it. And again, we're gonna go with this browning. Now I'm using the browning one to, uh, to help season my chicken, but two, to give it that color. Being that we're putting it in a crock pot, you may not get that color that you like when you bake off your chicken or whatnot. So the browning helps with that. And then we're going with a tablespoon of minced garlic here. Now once you get all your seasoning in, all you're going to do is get everything a good toss before we get ready to put it into the crock pot. Alright, so we've got everything incorporated really well. You can see how that, how that seasoning is coated to that chicken. Now we're going to go ahead on and put it in our crock pot. Alright guys, so basically what we want to do, we want to go ahead and kind of layer our chicken in here to where everything is has a nice surface coverage. You don't want to just dump it in but your crock pot may not be big enough to hold everything at the bottom, so you will have to kind of layer it like we're doing right now. Just kind of get it in there. If you can fit it all in one layer, that's perfect. If you're doing you know, a few legs, but like I said, I have 12, so we will have to stack a few of them, but I'm going to try to layer them as best as I can so everything is uh, as uniform as possible. We're also gonna be adding in some onion to this. Uh, you could add some bell pepper in as well. I'm out of bell pepper at the moment, so onions are going to be fine. I just have some finely diced onion that we're gonna go ahead and throw inside the crock pot as well. And once it begins to cook, that onion will distribute all the way through your chicken and provide a really nice flavor. We don't have to add any liquid to this because the chicken will produce its own liquid, its own natural gravy, and it's going to do be perfectly fine. So there's our chicken, and we're just gonna go ahead on and put it into our crock pot. All right, guys, so we've, our chicken has been going for about two hours now. I have the crock pot on high, so you do want to cook this on high. It's only going to take about four and a half to maybe five hours to get it done. But all I want to do now is just begin to kind of just shift the chicken around and rotate it some. You can see it's starting to cook some. Some of, You can see that liquid that it's also doing. It's starting to create its own juices like we said it would. And uh, it smells amazing. So best you can, go in and just begin to flip some of your chicken around, rotate them in pieces, put maybe the ones that were on top on the bottom, so on and so forth. Then we're gonna go ahead and close that lid back down and continue to let it cook. All right guys, so we're five hours in and our chicken is done. Just look how good that looks. It's just about fall off the bone. Now if you wanted to at this point, you could pull your chicken and you can add in a little cornstarch slurry to that nap to those juices at the bottom to thicken it up and have more of a thicker gravy to put over some rice or potatoes. Or you can just leave it thin like it is and, uh, and pour it or scoop it over your chicken. You could also add a little salt and extra salt and pepper to it at this point. It's totally up to you. But uh, this is really, really easy recipe, a really quick recipe as far as getting it prepped and prepared. And it gives you the option to go out and do whatever you need to do. Just go ahead and look at that chicken. Look how good it looks. We're having it with some spinach and some pilaf rice. And just look how this pulls apart from that bone. Nice, moist, juicy, really good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Give it a try. When you guys are in a pinch for time on your way to church, you want to make sure you have a good meal, try this one, guys. Till the next time, God bless. We'll see you around. Have a good day.